I don't know if any of you have ever seen, um, it's, a, it's an old British comedy called Faulty Towers, um, but it's one of my favorite shows, and I, I think I have all of the episodes memorized, because there's only 12. But uh, in it, uh, this is a guy uh, who, he's a very crotchety man, kind of reminds me of myself, and all of the guests, who none of them are, uh, they're fine, but he, he takes... He doesn't like his guests. He thinks they demand too much of the hotel. But there is one woman. Her name is Mrs. Richard. She really can't hear, and she, she expects way too much of this hotel, which is in Britain, and it's along the coast. And she came in, and she was demanding all kinds of things, and she was complaining about the view. And the, uh, Mr., uh, uh, Mr. Faulty, who owns the hotel, said, what did you expect to see from a a window in this hotel. The Sydney Opera House, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, herds of veal beast sweeping majestically, you know, all this and all that other thing. He was getting into her. She said she wanted to see the sea. He said, you can see the sea. It's over there between the land and the sky. Anyway, it was a lot funnier when you see him do it. But what do you expect? What did she expect when she went to a hotel in Britain? What did she want to see? What did she think she was going to see? She had her own notions of what she expected, and, and it never measured up. You had to guess that if, even if she had the most beautiful view, it wouldn't have measured up. Well, that's what Jesus is talking about in the gospel today. John the Baptist, he came proclaiming the, the kingdom, and yes, he, he had a strange lifestyle. And the people said, look, he's possessed by a demon. And then Jesus comes living the opposite way a little bit of John the Baptist. And they said, look, he's a drunkard. What do people want? What do we want? What do we expect from our Messiah? We have our own preconceived notions of what it is. And to be honest, I don't think any of them, he could ever measure up to what we expect of a Messiah. But what does he do? He forgives sins. He has come to die for our sins. Is that enough for us? If it is, we will give him our sins. And we will find our salvation in him as our savior when we give him our sins. If we do not give him our sins, especially through the sacrament of confession, he cannot be our savior. Is that enough for us? If it is, we must give it to him. If it's not, he is not our savior. I mean, he is our savior. We don't want a savior like that. What are we looking for when we see our savior? If it's forgiveness of sins, which keep us from him and from heaven, he is our savior. Let's take advantage of that as he comes for us this Christmas.